Hi everybody, this is Robert at Scott Leroy Marketing. Today we're going to show you how to check the status of the three IDX connections each KW agent is supposed to have to see whether your IDX is set up properly. To get started, we're going to get logged in to mykw.kw.com and we're going to check on the eEdge IDX connection first. The eEdge IDX connection enables you to have full listing search on your eEdge website as well as to set up listing alerts for contacts in your eEdge database and use MLS data to complete uh, marketing materials for your listings and for listings in your market center. So to look at that, we're going to go into the eEdge control panel and we're going to click on any of the listings that take us into eEdge. Edge. I like to click on View Contacts. Once eEdge has loaded, up in the very top right we're going to click on Account and then in the menu that drops down we'll click on My Account, the first option. On the My Account page, over on the left, we're going to click on MLS Setup. It's the fourth option down underneath the heading of My Account. Once we're on this page, this is what you'll be most likely to see. IDX has been requested but not yet approved because there are some additional instructions to follow. You can click on the instructions link to the right of your MLS name or contact your market center leadership for those additional steps needed to finish activating IDX on your eEdge platform. Be aware that even once all of the instructions have been followed and the request has been submitted completely, IDX is not enabled instantaneously. The MLS still needs to process that request, which can take anywhere from two to three days to two to three weeks. If you're certain that you have followed all of the instructions to submit your request to the MLS, please contact the MLS directly to check on the status of your IDX request. Neither KW nor Scott Leroy Marketing has any influence or knowledge on how quickly MLS organizations process IDX requests. It's 100% totally, completely, entirely out of our hands. Once the MLS has processed your request and allowed the IDX connection, noted by approved in that status column, there are two final steps to get full functionality out of your eEdge connection. The first step is to click on Add Agent ID to the right of your MLS name and then enter and save your agent MLS ID under which all of your listings are counted in the MLS. This will enable you to make marketing materials which auto-populate with listing data from the MLS for your listings only. The next step, which is optional, is to add your office's MLS ID using the office ID link. This will enable you to create marketing materials which will auto-populate with listing data from the MLS for any listing under your brokerage. You'd want to ask your market center leadership for that office ID. There is not a way to be able to use MLS data automatically for all listings in the MLS outside of your brokerage. Only your listings or your office's listings are able to do that. If you're certain that you've followed all of the instructions to submit the request to the MLS, please contact the MLS directly to check the status of your IDX request. Remember, neither KW nor SLM has any influence on how quickly MLS organizations process IDX requests. Once we've checked on our eEdge IDX connection, we're going to go back to our MyKW homepage. And then again in the eEdge control panel, next to My Marketing, we'll click on the plus sign here. And in the menu that drops down, we'll click on Manage eAgency Website. Now, some people that are members of Commercial Electory may have an additional step here where you select Edit next to whatever site has the radio button selected. If you don't have that, it'll take you directly here. Once we're in the eAgency interface, over on the left, we'll click at Section 4.0 and then click on Section 4.1. For WolfNet IDX, for your KW app, there's a prerequisite to being able to send one part of this IDX request to WolfNet. That is that your MLS ID must be added to your KW White Pages profile, or you'll receive this message here that says you have no MLS associate ID on record, and you will not be able to send the IDX request here online to WolfNet. You'll want to ask your MCA to add your MLS ID to your KW White Pages profile. Your MCA is your Market Center Administrator. That's the person at your Market Center who's responsible for getting commission checks to agents. They should know what that means, but just in case they need help, they need instructions, we do have those instructions linked here in this slideshow, and I'm going to be having the link to this slideshow in the description of this video. Roughly 15 minutes after that MLS ID is added to your KW White Pages profile, you should be able to refresh this page and then now have the option to select your MLS in the drop down, then check the boss for yes, set up my eAgency IDX powered by WolfNet, and then click on the sign up button. 
After this, there may be some additional instructions to follow, such as paperwork that needs to be submitted in order to complete the IDX request. This is only one part of it. There's usually additional instructions. Uh, remember that even once all of the instructions are followed, IDX is not enabled instantaneously. The MLS still needs to process the request, which can take anywhere from two to three days to two to three weeks. Just so you know what it looks like, this is what the eAgency section 4.5 looks like between clicking that sign up button and when you receive the instructions that are going to be shown on the next slide. Once all of the instructions have been followed and the MLS and WolfNet have, have, a, have had a chance to process the request, you'll receive an email from support at kw.com with the subject, Welcome to your eAgency IDX solution powered by WolfNet. This will contain several links and instructions to finish setting up IDX for your KW app. You're welcome to try to follow these instructions yourself, or you can just forward this message along with your MyKW username and password to support at scottleroymarketing.com, and we can actually get these links in place for you. This is what the final complete IDX page will look like in eAgency once everything is set up properly and the links are in place. Basically, if there is no link in at least that first box, the WolfNet URL box, IDX is not properly set up. All of the other boxes are optional. The only required one is that WolfNet URL box. Once you've checked the WolfNet IDX connection, we'll return to the MyKW homepage, and up in the very top black menu, we'll hover over Technology, then click on KW Websites. On this page, we'll click on the big red button in the center that says Go to My Website. Once we're on the Playster dashboard, over on the left under Quick Actions, we'll click on Edit Site. And then under Listings, near the top of the page here, we'll click on IDX Integration to see the IDX connections for your Playster site. For Playster IDX, every KW agent has at least the Keller Williams Listing Service, or KWLS, IDX feed available. This feed only shows KW listings, and it does show listings from all across the country. If you want to show listings from outside the company and only for your service area, you'll need to turn off the KWLS option and then turn on your actual MLS. Now, if your MLS is not listed on this page, that means that there are additional instructions to follow. You're going to want to reach out to your market center leadership for help with these additional instructions. If your MLS is listed, but it says pending to the right instead of giving you an on and off switch, you'll actually need to contact Playster directly to learn what's holding up the IDX setup. And that's done through data, ops, D as in dog, A, T as in Tom, A, O, P as in Paul, S as in Sam, at Playster.com. Remember that even once all of the instructions are followed, IDX is not enabled instantaneously. The MLS still does need to process that request, which can take anywhere from two to three days to two to three weeks. If you're certain that you've followed all of the instructions to submit the request to the MLS, please contact the MLS directly to check on the status of your IDX request. Neither KW nor SLM has any influence on how quickly MLS organizations process IDX requests. It is 100% totally, completely, entirely out of our hands. This is what the IDX integration page looks like with a real MLS turned on rather than the KWLS and the KWLS turned off. Now, one important thing to know is that unfortunately, if you leave both the real MLS and the KWLS turned on, no listings at all will show on your site. The KWLS interferes with the real MLS connection and then unfortunately, there's nothing to do to fix it. You cannot have both the KWLS and an actual MLS selected for the Playster site. Now, if you're a member of multiple MLS boards, you definitely can have those multiple IDX connections and have them all turned on at the same time. You just can't have the KWLS turned on as well. Check out our Place Through 101 class for more information, and that link is going to be here in the slideshow. That's how you can check the status of the three IDX connections each KW agent is supposed to have, eEdge, WolfNet, and Playster. If you have additional questions about this, feel free to send us an email at support at scottleroymarketing.com.